access to safe and reliable water supply and sanitation services at home and at the workplace is critical in maintaining a healthy learning and productive workforce. Over the period 2011 to 2050, the global population is expected to increase by 33% from 7 to 9.3 billion people. The latest report released by United Nations Agency says about 40% of the global population is in dire need of water. We are all on the same board. The only thing is one of the things we're recommending is the action. Maybe we talked a lot, and it's time to the action now. Because failure to invest in water management not only represents missed opportunities, but may also impede economic ground and job creation. According to the report, the situation will worsen in the coming decades due to climate change and pollution of water sources, though there is room to reverse this trend. As wisely pointed out in this report, 78% of the job consisting of consisting the global workforce are dependent on water. That is why the newly adopted 2030 Agenda has two important goals. The report further says failure to invest in water management not only presents missed opportunities but may also impede economic growth and job creation. Former President Mwai Kibaki, who is also the patron of the Millennium Water Alliance, speaking while launching the report, urged governments and development partners to invest more in water infrastructure to achieve Vision 2030. First, that all the players commit themselves more resources and time towards training and making full use of water local experts. An undertaking Water Cabinet Secretary, Jujin Wamalawa, noted is already on course in all the 47 counties. In providing sufficient water for the competing users in a growing economy, it is a big challenge when you have such a shortage as we do in this country. And to address this challenge, my ministry has formulated comprehensive policies, plans, strategies, and cooperative frameworks with riparian states that will ensure effectiveness in addressing the critical water issues such as environmental degradation and institutional weaknesses.